Okay, so welcome to Setup Tips episode 6. In today's video, we're going to be talking about audio interfaces versus sound recorders pretty much. In my hand, I have the M Audio 192.4 and I have the Zoom H5. So, in today's video, I'm going to be helping you decide which of these devices you actually need for your own workflow and which one you should buy for your own personal workspace. Coming right up. So, the idea with higher hand audio interfaces and sound recorders are pretty much the exact same thing. You can, in most cases, use audio interfaces to record directly to your computer. And in many, many cases, you can actually use sound recorders that are higher hand to do the exact same thing because they can function as audio interfaces. The real difference is going to be the mobility and the quality of the preamps inside of them. Uh, for example, this is an M Audio 192.4 Air, which is basically an audio interface that costs around $150, while this is the Zoom H5, which costs almost double that, right? The preamps in the M Audio audio interface are significantly better than the ones that you have in the Zoom H5, for example, because when you're increasing your volume to add more gain into your condenser microphone, this does not introduce ease or noise into your audio. Whereas with this one, it does. So they are basically built for different things. Now, while this is entirely boss powered, the audio interface can basically draw power from your computer and also send audio into your computer with a single cable. Uh, this is going to be boss powered sometimes and you can actually also power this with a battery. Why? Because this was designed to be used outside. So you're going to be able to actually take this out with you and shoot outside, shoot on location, shoot different things. Now, this is the Tascam DR40. This cost me around 120 something dollars when I bought it, if I remember correctly. I ran off the price of the Zoom H5. And the real differences between these two is this cannot serve as your audio interface while this can. Now, does that mean though that because this can actually sound as an audio interface, this completely becomes useless? Well, not exactly. You see, different devices for different applications. With the Zoom H5, for example, if mobility is very important to you, this would be perfect to buy. So for example, say like in a situation like this, we're not currently shooting in the studio or in the office, we need an audio interface to provide frontal power to our Samsung TO2 microphone. The Zoom H5 is perfect for that because now we can move this audio setup with us wherever we decide to shoot and just take that audio back to the office and we get high quality audio regardless. Uh, if I was shooting directly in the studio though, and I was using one of my IAN microphones, I'll probably be using my audio interface because the preamps are cleaner. And when you increase the gain, it's not going to introduce any noise or ease into your audio. Uh, what I mean by that is simple. With the Zoom H5, for example, when I start to pass specific thresholds for volume and gain when I'm trying to add some volume to my microphone input, uh, I start to hear some ease and there's visible noise inside of the vector scope when you're looking at the audio. It just looks like it's introducing a lot of ease and a lot of noise into the audio. But with an audio interface like the M Audio 192.4 Air, you're not going to get the same thing. Now, of course, the M Audio Air interface is not the most expensive. In fact, it's one of the lower hand uh, interfaces that you can buy, but it's still going to sound better than a Zoom H5 that costs twice the price because of cleaner preamps. So if cleaner preamps are what you're going for and you're not really going to be worrying too much about mobility, an audio interface is probably the best thing for you to buy first. Another very important thing to note is that with audio interfaces, you can actually control your studio monitors and speakers. So they basically give you inputs and outputs that you can use to pretty much control the speakers that you use to monitor or to edit your audio or videos. With sound recorders, you don't get the same flexibility and they are basically not built for that. Now, ultimately, at the end of the day, I personally feel like it's most important to actually buy both types of these devices. You need to have a sound recorder and you need to have an audio interface. But you have to decide, especially if you're on a tight budget, which device is most important to your workflow and which one you actually need to buy first. In my case, for many, many years when I first started my YouTube channel, I mostly used an audio interface. I didn't have a sound recorder because my face was not in the videos and I was mostly doing voiceovers. So in that case, audio interfaces were more appropriate. But for your case, it might be completely different. If you're doing voiceover work, however, professionally, cleaner preamps are probably going to be more important to you, so an audio interface might be the way to go. And speaking of audio interfaces, for this week's giveaway, I am going to be giving away an M Audio audio interface to one lucky subscriber. So you can leave a comment in the comment section telling me what you intend to do with this if you win and if you need it. And sometimes next week, we're actually going to pick a winner for this audio interface and the winner's comment is going to be included in next week's video. Now, for last week's giveaway, we were giving away a good XSL60W. So 
if this is your comment thank you so much for subscribing thank you for being involved in the community please leave a comment under this video to claim your prize and i will be in touch on how to actually get your shipment shipped out to you you have till the publishing of tomorrow's video to actually claim your prize after that null and void now hopefully this video has been helpful to actually help you decide whether you need to buy an audio interface or whether you need to buy a sound recorder or maybe you even need both that was the sixth episode of setup tips i will see you next week on another video that was shot by kagan peace the kind of gods.